it is a daunting statistic. About 30% of people who suffer from depression do not respond well to medication. Now, according to the folks here at Sunnybrook Hospital, there is a new hope, a cutting edge form of brain surgery that requires no cutting whatsoever. All right, we're going to do the first sonication now. Depression put directly in the crosshairs, a first of its kind treatment in North America. And Dr. Nir Lipsman is the brainchild behind it all. We're beginning to realize that a major depression is a circuit disorder of the brain. Uh, and we've known for some time that in patients who have reached the limits of medical treatment or psychotherapeutic treatments, surgery may be an option to disrupt activity in a circuit that's not functioning properly. Lipsman is the principal investigator of the trial currently underway at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center. A trial that uses this one-of-a-kind helmet that focuses ultrasound waves right at the part of the brain known to be problematic for those with depression. So the idea is if you can disrupt the circuit, you can reset the circuit, and you can restore normal functioning. The first ideas um, I got when I was a student. Dr. Calervo Hinnanen is the man behind the helmet, a device that's already been used to treat patients with essential tremors. We know that uh, Brain surgery is quite, quite of, uh, dangerous, so it was obvious that there is a need for less invasive uh, uh, therapy. We've tried every treatment in existence. The trial is for those who've tried medication and other therapies without success, like Linda Bonin, the first patient to go under the helmet. I've had depression on and off most of my life, but it's been mostly on for the past 30 odd years. Doctors at Sunnybrook have treated three patients so far using the ultrasound therapy and the results so far are promising. There are promising signs that it's having some of the effect we want it to have. Researchers are looking for three more patients to participate in their study. If successful then they'll move on to phase two and from there potentially widespread use. Amanda Ferguson, City News.